Grendel and Morton with WBON TV. Today we're learning about Cram the Cruiser with Trooper Purdy. King Brothers Used Cars in Winchester has a huge selection of Fords, Chevys, Jeeps, and more. Come by and see why people have been choosing King Brothers for over 50 years or visit kingbrotherscars.com. Family owned and time tested since 1966. We're here with Trooper Purdy at the Kroger Richmond and we're talking about Cram the Cruiser. Another great event this year. Tell us about when it's happening and how this is going to work. Yes, yeah, so right now we are collecting food, uh, any non-perishable food items uh, now through December the 10th, uh, this coming Saturday, uh, December the 1st from 10 to 3. We're going to be out here, we're going to have a hot dog wagon, we're going to be giving away hot dogs, drinks, uh, and just having a great time as, as the community comes together uh, for an all-out food drive. Now tell us, after this uh, food drive is complete, where does all this food go? Yes, we work with local food banks. Uh, primarily one of them that we work with a lot historically is God's Outreach. Uh, all the food that we collect here in Madison County is going to stay in Madison County. Uh, that's something that's really important to us. We're, we're doing this all over the state and communities throughout the state, and all the food that's collected in each one of those is going to stay there. Now, historically, Post 7 does pretty well in this uh, little competition that you have. Yeah, so between the 16 uh, posts, we all we all compete. Uh, we've won it once. We won it two years ago. Last year, we were we were beat by about 3,000 pounds. Uh, so we we're hoping to, to bring that trophy back home. Typically, how many pounds of food do you get? Uh, every, each year uh, here at the Richmond State Police Post, we average pretty close from uh, 80,000 to 100,000 pounds of food. And do you know what the, the statewide total is? Uh, statewide, I think last year we were up over 400,000 pounds for the entire state. Uh, so that's a lot of families we're able to feed. That is fantastic right here at the holidays. You also have some other things going on. Shop with a Trooper? Yeah, right now we're, we're uh, accepting donations for Shop with a Trooper. Uh, each Christmas we take about 100 underprivileged children Christmas shopping. Uh, in total, it costs us about $15,000. And all of that money is, is all... Uh, raised during uh, fundraisers and, and donations and so the more the more the more that we can actually raise the more children we can take shopping right so uh, is Saturday the accumulation of this event is it done after that or no, so uh, Saturday, December the 1st, uh, is, is it falls right in the middle of our campaign, our Cram the Cruiser campaign. Uh, so we're going to be here, uh, you know, it's basically, it's our biggest day. Uh, but for about the ten, next 10 days following that, anybody can come to Kroger. Uh, they have uh, collection barrels in the front of the store, so you can buy a $6 pre-made bag or any non-perishable food item and put it in that barrel and we'll get it to where it needs to go. Lots of food for a good cause. We'll both actually be here on Saturday. I'll be broadcasting live. You'll be here to greet all the people that are coming in to donate. So we're hoping for a great turnout. Come visit us this coming Saturday here at the Richmond Kroger. This is actually going on. Now we say right here, but you can go all over the state for stuff like this, right? Yeah, absolutely. It, uh, communities all across the state. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, a lot of events this coming Saturday um, at, at a lot of Kroger's. Uh, if you don't want to come out to the Kroger, you can also stop by the Richmond State Police Post. You can d drop off things there. Uh, so we're not going to turn down any kind of monetary donations or food donations. For more stories like these, tune to WBONTV.com. I am Grendelyn Morton.